Welcome to our fabric chat. Today we're going to talk about how we can change the shape of fabric and what happens when it gets wet. But first, let's take a look at this giant collection of fabric I've got. There are so many different kinds and that tells us a little bit about how we can change them and what will happen when it gets wet. So, first we can talk about their materials. Some fabrics are made out of plastic fibers. Some are made out of plant fibers, and some are based in animal materials. Hmm. These ones are wool. That comes from animals. This is leather. It comes from an animal. This fleece, it's made from plastic, often recycled water bottles. This is cotton. That's a plant. This burlap comes from a plant. Linen comes from a plant. This one's a blend. It's partly plastic and partly cotton. I can put it in the middle. Same with this one. This one's all plastic. This one's all plastic. This one's cotton and plastic. The plastic helps give it that stretch. This one's all plastic. And this one's all plastic. Now, it can be hard to tell. Sometimes you can feel them. Sometimes you can smell them. Wool often has a specific smell. But a lot of times the easiest way to know what a fabric is made of is by reading the, la the label or the tag when you first get it. Okay, so we have these different fabrics and they're all made of these different materials. But even if they're made of the same material, they can look quite different. Look at these. These don't all look the same. These certainly don't look the same and neither do these. Sometimes when people make fabric, they weave it together. And that means you can see the fibers going up and down and side to side. It can be really small though, so sometimes you have to look really closely. And especially if it's a fluffy fabric, sometimes the woven part can be almost impossible to see. Sometimes fabrics are knit. Knit fabrics often have this V pattern. It can be big or it can be small, so you have to look really closely too. Sometimes their fabrics are made other ways. There are a lot of different ways to make fabric. These two, Weaving and knitting are the most common. So now let's look at our fabric again and see if we can figure out how each one was made. If I look really closely at this one, I can see that woven pattern. I can see the lines going straight up and down. It's almost making a grid. Okay, this one's super large. Can you see this one? Yeah, it's woven. You can see them going straight up and straight side to side. This one's the same, but it's a lot smaller. Still woven. What about this one? Hmm, it's really tiny and tight. But I can see some lines with some V's in it. That must mean it's knit. This one's woven. This one's pretty big, it's woven. Ooh, this is one of those fluffy ones. It's really hard to see. You know what? Sometimes when it's hard to see, I look at the edge because often on the edge, there's what's called the selvage and that part, you can see where there's less fluff. And this one, even though it's so fluffy, it's actually woven. How cool. Ooh, this one's pretty big and obvious. It's easy to see all the V's. This one's knit. Hmm. Wow. This one's not woven or knit. This one's a mesh and it's plastic, so it's just kind of formed that way. This one's what's called plastic blown. And they used all the fibers and melted them and kind of blew them out and landed them together to make this material. This one's not woven or knit. Huh, this one has a couple layers. Here, let me see if I can pull them apart for you. This one has two layers of knit on the outside. They're super stretchy. And on the inside, it's almost got a rubber layer. This is called neoprene. It's often used for insulating things or keeping them warm or cool. I guess we could put that in between other and knit. We'll put it over here. Leather comes from the skin of an animal. It's not woven or knit. And this wool? Well, this was knit together. First they made it into yarn and, and then they knit it. How are they different? Well, the woven ones, oh, that was knit sneaking over there. The woven ones don't tend to be so stretchy, 
right? Look at that. These ones don't stretch almost at all. But these knit ones, they can stretch quite a lot. Some of them can stretch. Whoa, look how much that stretches. Okay, now that we've talked about what they're made of and how they're made, we can explore how we can change them. Now we just looked at stretching, so let's look at that a little more. We can try to stretch fabric to change its shape. And it doesn't go all the way back the way it came. Especially if fabric is wet, like when it's just out of the laundry. If you stretch it, sometimes you can change its shape a lot. Look at this one, when we stretch it, the edges curl up and they don't wanna go back. But the middle, it bounces back. That's because it has elastic in it. Can I change this one by stretching it? Let's see. Nope, it went right back to where it was. What about this one? Let's, let's try. Oh, I can kind of change its shape, but it, it goes back pretty easily. It doesn't stay that way. What about these ones? What do we think? Nope, when I stretch it, it basically goes right back. Another thing we can do with fabrics to change their shape is we can rip them or unweave them. Now, when I said unweave, your brain probably thought, wait, that sounds like woven fabric. And you're right. When we have woven fabric, we can go in and take a thread and we can pull it right out. Look at this. Sometimes it gets a little bunchy. If you have some woven fabric, you could try this too. You can pull out the threads one at a time. Now, if it's a big weave like this burlap, it'll be pretty easy. If it's smaller like this linen, it can be harder, but you can still get those individual threads and try to take them apart. That sure changes the shape of fabric in a not so useful way if you don't want your fabric coming apart either. I wonder if knit fabric does the same. Let's try this one. Can we grab a thread and pull it apart? Hmm. A little bit, but not near as much. It's kind of like having lots of knots, right? And when you have something that's super tangly, it's hard to take it apart. Whereas this isn't so tangly, it's a lot easier to take apart. What do you think would happen with scissors? Could we cut these? Well, we used tools to cut our wood and we used tools to cut paper. Of course, we could use scissors to cut any of these fabrics. There's one more thing that we can do to change the shape of our fabric. And that's one that happens with water. Now, fabric, we make things out of it, often clothing, and we wash it, and it's just fine. We wash it, we dry it, we wear it again. We wash it, we dry it, we wear it again. But some fabrics don't like what happens when you get them wet. They change a little bit. Our plasticky fabrics, they don't care so much. They tend to stay the same over and over and over again. But our plant-based and animal-based fabrics, sometimes you can mess them up in the wash. Now look at this wool fabric. It's really stretchy. And it's the size that fits me. This is my sweater. But this sweater went through the wash and it went through the wash with warm water and soap and the heat and the water and the agitation, the rubbing, it changed the fabric. Look at this now. It hardly stretches at all. It's so much smaller that it doesn't fit me anymore. And you can't even see the knit pattern as much because it got all tight and fluffy. It shrank. It shrank so much. And it shrank so much that it can't really ever change back. It can happen with plant fibers too. I took these two pieces off the bottom of a pair of pants. These are linen and that's a plant fiber. And this one I didn't wash, and this one I did wash. And the one that I washed shrunk so much. Look at that. It shrunk by almost an inch in the width. And it got shorter. It also started to unravel. So water can be a part of changing fabric. But when it dries off, it's still fabric. It just might not be the exact same fabric you had before. So here's my challenge for you. Can you find some fabric that you can change? Make sure you ask a grown-up before you go cutting or ripping or even washing with hot water and trying to shrink any fabric because you wouldn't want to ruin anything on accident. But if you can find some scraps like these or some extra pieces of fabric like these, you can try changing it. 
maybe you could even make something from it. So have fun exploring with cloth, have fun exploring with fabric, and I can't wait to see you next time.